Okay, okay. That is my new filming nook. I have a bar. That is an actual bar. I have artwork. I have uh, fancy, really fancy chairs. What's going on, my friends? I am back. Hello, December 30th, 2019 was my last video. That's a year and three months ago. So first, I'm gonna quickly tell you what I've been up to and then I'm gonna show you my new home. A year ago, I sold my truck and my camper. I think I have some footage of that. I'll put it up now. And I uh, moved into my van. Remember that Honda Odyssey van? I lived in that van for roughly eight months, which is crazy. It was uh, also kind of incredible. And um, the next 10-ish videos that I'm gonna make are going to be about living in that minivan. So I won't speak too much about it, but I did live in it for eight months and then I couldn't live in it any longer. Um, I rented a place off my lovely friends for a couple months and then I got this place. Now, in the meantime, of course, a year ago or a little over that, that's when we heard about uh, the pandemic happening and the cruise ship industry shut down completely. So I am no longer driving buses right now. I have went back to the trucking industry, actually delivering groceries. Funny enough, when the pandemic first hit, I joked about if I could only deliver toilet paper. And now I, along with a lot of other things, I actually deliver a lot of toilet paper. So, so that's what I've been doing since uh, the cruise disappeared. I've been uh, driving a big truck locally and uh, delivering groceries. I lost a bunch of weight, as you may notice. I'm sure that you saw my uh, gradual weight gain through the videos towards the end. I got up to 293 pounds, and right now I sit at about 235. I did go down to 225, but I'm back up to 235 because all of the baking that I've been doing. Um, but hopefully start to go down, and that will have been about 60, 70, 80 pounds. If I, if I get down to my target weight. So uh, slow, gradual, very healthy, just eating the right foods and, and exercising. And uh, I'm sure there'll be a video on that as well. I did, I've been doing a ton of fishing and I actually got pretty good. I was catching some fish and I have some pictures and roughly around that time, I was forced um, to bathe in a cold lake for about three months because my gym shut down. And when I was living in a van, that was the only way to get a shower and to use the washroom. So I ended up um, <laughs> bathing in a lake, a cold, cold lake, kind of in the middle of winter for a few months. So there's lots to talk about in the next upcoming videos, but uh, I wanted this video to focus on um, telling you just a quick brief what's been going on in the last year and a bit and i also want to show you my uh my new home so i've cleaned up a little bit i can't believe the uh response that i got in my last video i forgot to fold these one sec um just how many people really care that i'm that i'm back and that i had left in the first place and <clears throat> youtube's a crazy thing Okay, the kitchen is a little bit dirty, but you guys can look past it. I just got off work. I don't want to do a bunch of dishes. I just want to film this video and then sit down and watch a movie or something. We could probably open these blinds a little bit. As much of a hermit as I am, very rarely will I open these blinds. <laughs> That's nice. So I bought this place. 
two couple months ago and um it is in a condo complex it's actually labeled a townhouse but i don't think technically this would be a townhouse because townhouses aren't in condo buildings but i'm still going to call it a townhouse it's a little one bedroom uh condo townhouse and it's 760 square feet and it is in Victoria or Langford, Greater Victoria. And the only person who knows where I live is the FedEx guy who watches my videos because the very first day I took possession of it, turnkey came in here with, uh, with a couple of my bags and a, what did I have, a bottle of wine. And I just started walking around drinking this bottle of wine just like opening cupboards opening everything and checking things out and laying on the floor and sitting in the bathtub in a dry bathtub just staring up like oh my god i actually have a place to live now and uh i get this knock on the door <clears throat> and it's one of the guys i've seen him around before um uh, and he watches my videos and he's like oh hey how are you doing and so we had a little chat so that's the only person that knows where i live right now who watches my videos um when I bought it, I had the option to purchase all of the furniture, except one dresser that was over here where my little weights are. It was a little book, it wasn't a dresser, it was a little bookcase <clears throat> and the TV. They took the TV. The previous owners of this place were a couple, I believe in their late 40s, early 50s, and they were moving back to Ontario, all the way across uh, Canada on the east side. So they didn't, I don't think they had, I think they were just driving and they didn't have a U-Haul, they didn't want to buy a U-Haul. All of the furniture in here would be much more than just a small little trailer. So they said, do you want to buy it? I said, yeah, sure, how much? I didn't want to spend much. But as you can maybe see, like the stuff in here is, is quite, pricey stuff like quite high quality i should say um, just look at these lamps and the you know the bar fits perfectly there and the chairs and the art is big um and they said everything everything for four thousand dollars and i'm like yes so i just turn key and I, I walked in just like this and it looked exactly like it does now. Minus the TV, I had to buy that at Costco. Actually, my dad bought this for me. Thanks, Dad. Standing back at the front door, um, you've got your little closet here. And as you can see, like this is it right here. This is, it's very narrow. It's multi-leveled, so you actually have three levels to it. So it kind of feels bigger. You've got, I believe there are 14 foot ceilings maybe even a little bit more. So it feels, it feels bigger than it actually is by far. Um, but in, the, in this video, I'm just seeing like, there it is right there, it's super narrow. <laughs> um, you've got my living room couch. That is a pullout couch. Two chairs came with the uh, little side tables and they're kind of antique side tables. You may notice just from the short time that I spent talking that I love this little bar setup. I actually don't have any alcohol bottles on top, but I'll probably get like a like a Grey Goose vodka bottle and maybe like a Fireball bottle. Just it would kind of pop, like the colors would pop. Um, down here, a little mini fridge. Once again, guys, everything like this, this little uh, toy car, this ice box, some shaker cups, um, wine glasses, that was all left. Uh, this um, blue ribbon sign, that was all left from the previous owners. Just back to my living room quickly. This is a electric fireplace. And I use it almost every night when I'm watching a movie. I watch a lot of TV. 
This is not real, this is wallpaper. All right, let's go upstairs first. There's a mirror. I use this as my pantry. So I've got all my baking goods, which I've gotten quite into in there. And just normal food in here. Came with this really neat Canon artwork work, uh, piece. There's the kitchen table. Once again, the people Previous owners love their wallpaper, and I just, uh, I just think it's perfect. It's a perfect vibe for uh, a bachelor pad such as this is. My fridge, which I am eating healthy, so there's some healthy food in it. But when I moved in, I opened it, and they had left one beer sitting right here with a note saying, I hope that you enjoyed as much as we did. Make lots of good memories. And so I, uh, I took a picture with the beer and I sent it to them. I emailed it to them. This is where it gets a little bit messy, but hey, it is what it is. Um, as you can see, normal stuff. Stove, oven, microwave, coffee maker. Dirty sink, they left the crock pot, they left the coffee maker, the toaster. I have a little dishwasher. And then this door just goes back to the parkades. I don't have a common area entrance, so I don't actually have to go into the building. I have my front door and I also have my back door. But this door doesn't really go anywhere. It just goes to the parkade to put some stuff. They left me a ladder. So lots of storage for a condo building. Let's continue the tour. This wide angle lens is doing a great job right now. This is my little workout corner. I don't go to the gym anymore, so I do little home workouts with my weights. And uh, just right there. And I've managed to lose this amount of weight. So it just goes to show you don't need to do the whole gym membership thing. Couple weights and a big staircase outside and you're good to go. All right, down the second set of stairs on the right hand side is my laundry. Boom, boom. Really nice appliances too. Some more artwork and my bathroom so i really like this color it took me a second to get used to it but it's a like a baby blue and i think it's oh i have a light out look at that oops <laughs> um it's baby blue oh, it's my toothbrush and i think it's perfect color for a bathroom so I've gotten some, or actually my mom got me some towels to match, um, candle, and I picked that out at Walmart. How perfect does that match the wall? And I also got that, or maybe she did, I forget, but yeah, that matches perfectly. So there it is, nice little glass divider. Oh, 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 I almost forgot. Heated floor, heated, real tile floor and there's the temperature right up there so i leave that on and uh, every morning it uh, i notice it now you can either enter my bedroom from this door so say um i don't know what i'm trying to prove here uh, <laughs> or it's an ensuite bathroom so i have a little cheater sliding door this is my very cozy bedroom. Once again, they left the That is my new 
place. Um, what else can I tell you about it? I'm sure I'm missing lots, um, but uh, you guys get the idea. So I am so excited to have a home again. I'm so excited to have a place to go, to not be on some side street, to not worry that someone's gonna knock on my car window and tell me to move. Or just, just all those things that come with living uh, on side streets, living in vans and living in campers. It is so nice to have all the comforts of home, the safety of home, and the amenities. So, as I said before, the next few videos are gonna be talking about my life in the van, and, uh, and then we're just gonna kinda of go wherever with this channel. We're just gonna make some neat videos, and I'm excited about that. I'm not putting too much pressure on myself like I did before. I'm just making videos because I want to, because I enjoy it, and I wanna have fun with it, and, uh, and, and do it for fun. I will see you guys in the next video. I'll see you very soon. And thanks so much for sticking around. I'm back. We're going to have some fun. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, my friends. My friends, keep living that dream.